guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today we're going to talk about creating a sticky or fixed navigation in Squarespace. This essentially means that your header, like your logo and navigation will all stay fixed at the top of your browser window so your visitor will continue to see it while they scroll through your site. Squarespace 7.1 has made adding a fixed header really easy. The feature is built in so there's no code needed. But Squarespace 7.1 is a bit trickier as it depends on what template you're using and if it's not available in that template, you will need to code it in. But we'll cover all of that in the video, so let's get started. Okay, so starting with Squarespace 7.1, this is going to be really easy. Click edit on your page, edit site header, and at the very bottom you'll see it says fixed position. Just toggle this on. Once you toggle it on, you'll see a couple of settings here. So. For the style, we can choose scroll back or basic. So with basic, this means your header is always going to be fixed. And with scroll back, it means that it will only appear when the user scrolls back up the page. So let me show you what those both look like. We'll start with basic. You have to click save first. And as I scroll, you'll see it is completely fixed all the time. And if I choose scroll back, save again. It won't be fixed on the way down, but as I scroll back up, it will appear. So those are your two options for Squarespace 7.1. They're really good, built-in, easy options that you can implement really quickly. So moving on to Squarespace 7.0. This gets a little bit more complicated because this is a built-in feature in some templates, but not in others. So if you check out our full blog post, which I've linked below, we do list out the templates that it's included in, so I'll just quickly say them. So the templates Adirondack, Flatiron, Momentum and Sky, and Supply and Wells, they all have a type of fixed navigation and implementing it is slightly different on each one. So if you are using one of those templates, make sure you check out their full blog post and we'll tell you what kind of fixed navigation you have in that template and how to implement it. For the rest of Squarespace 7.0 templates, this is something that needs to be coded in. So in our blog posts, we have a code for Brine, Bedford, York, and Pacific, because we feel that these are the most popular templates. But this could be coded into essentially any Squarespace 7.0 template. You just need to get the right piece of code, but it is possible. So if we don't have the code listed in our blog post, and this is something that you really want to implement in your Squarespace 7.0 site, make sure to email our extra support as we should be able to implement this for you. I'll link that down below as well. So I'm using Brine and our code for the Brine template in this example. This is the navigation at the top here. And if you have the piece of code that you're going to use, you'll want to go into design, custom CSS, and just paste it in there. So when I paste it, you'll see that the header goes on top of the content. So to compensate for that, you might need to add a spacer up here or add a little bit more padding to the top of your first section. That's just in the Brian template. I'm not sure if that happens for all of the other templates. It is a little bit of a case by case basis, but that does add a beautiful fixed header navigation to your site. So as long as you have the right code, it's actually really simple to add a fixed header nav to your Squarespace 7.0 site as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.